there were three test screenings, and the first one was, in my memory, the most difficult one because the movie was at its longest length. It had the most to take out. And you always go into these test screenings, or at least I do, going, well, what can they tell me that I don't already know? And that's the arrogant side or, or the side that you've invested so much time in this that you should know what the movie needs and what it doesn't. And so I was very frightened, obviously, when I went and saw the first screening with them. Um, with an audience. It was very different than The Peacemaker, which I turned in only 10 minutes over length, and the test screenings were tremendous. And it was a little different with Deep Impact because Deep Impact had so many different elements to attack. Hi. You're not watching TV? They just keep saying the same thing. Yeah. One of the things that evolved out of the test screenings was that the story of the young kids, Elijah Wood and Lily Sobieski, was shortened. Um, we've, the, the screenings told us that brevity was, was really necessary. They felt that we went too far into their story of love. And so we, we held back on it. We cut some of the scenes out of them declaring their love for each other and we shortened it. And once again, they told us less is more. And um, I think they were right, actually. Okay, stay there, that's the beginning. Okay, I'll be penning down and move forward. Coming down? No, no, stay, stay the same line. Dietrich Lohmann was uh, my director of photography on The Peacemaker and on Deep Impact and um, extraordinary cameraman, wonderful visionary, um, lovely man, who actually became ill on, on Deep Impact. And he developed leukemia, a form of leukemia that he never told anybody about. He got sick on the film, and he left three times. Don Burgess, the wonderful cameraman, came in and took over for him, and then eventually Dietrich passed on after the film was over and didn't complete the picture. And so, you know, when I look back at the theme of the movie, what is the theme of the movie? How do you live your life? What are your choices? Well, he had a choice. He, had a, he knew he was ill. And he had decided, I guess, to live his last months shooting a movie that he loved, because uh, that's what he was. He was a great cameraman. And um, at least that's how I look at what he did. It's been a pleasure serving with you, Commander. The honor's all mine, Andy. I wanted audiences to walk outside and look around and, and just realize one, how lucky they are to be here, and two, how fragile our existence is and how blessed we are to have it. That's what I wanted. I wanted people to come outside and take a deep breath and go, wow. I think like any movie, any sort of catastrophic movie, the whole purpose of a film like this is to, is to raise other questions. And um, I think the film really succeeded in that. It was a, a very, challenging and a great learning experience for me and after I did that movie I decided I didn't want to ever ever work with visual effects again and of course um, time a little time has passed and I would another I would make another big movie again but enough time has passed it's like childbirth you forget Let's reset background folks thank you excellent job everybody don't run sound you might hear a lot of cursing when I try to climb out of this thing <laughs> all the love starts with me and trickles on down through the crew she's the best that was great. Thank you, New York! And cut, print. Great. That's a cut.